Hello everyone, it is Didi here, and uh, this is my first like professionally edited um, video of my thoughts on leaked sets or sets that are revealed, but it looks like these are official pictures. Um, but anyways, Marvel leaks for sets that I believe are all releasing on January 1st, 2023. Uh, these are got like I, I really wish i could have gotten the look on my face when i saw that ghost rider mech dude now these aren't all of the sets that are releasing on january 1st these are just some but i figured i would do a review on them because why not and i'll tell uh, like which ones am i going to be buying and so on and so forth anyways so let's start with set number 76247 uh the hulk buster the battle of wakanda this isn't necessary like, we already got a Hulkbuster from Infinity War. Now, granted, this one looks a lot more accurate. Like, it's literally ripped straight from the movie. Uh, it comes with Bruce Banner, which is a new face print on, you know, on one side. It's normal. On the other side, he's got the green eyes trying to turn into Hulk, which is kind of cool. But it honestly makes him look a little bit creepy. You get a Koye, which if she's been in other sets, but I guess there's another way to get a Koye. And then you get two Outriders, one with claws and one with extra forearms uh, and this set will retail for $44.99 this like I said just I, I I I don't think it's necessary but it's definitely the most accurate looking Hulkbuster we've had from that movie but still just not necessary in my opinion I do however love the new box art on the side with Iron Man and the Infinity Gauntlet but yeah I'm not the greatest fan of this set Looking at the next one, this is probably overall the best one that is going to come out. This is set number 76248, The Avengers Quinjet, which will retail for $99.99 USD. This is beautiful. Like, we haven't gotten a 2012 Avengers Quinjet since 2012. You get Iron Man with that unfortunately new helmet mold, but that can always be swapped out. Black Widow, who also, if you look closely appears to have the shield logo on printed on her arms that's fucking beautiful uh we get a 2012 avengers uh captain america minifigure again uh the only thing that i can see that is different is the torso and it was leaked before uh so there is also a new head uh with new facial expressions and then the torso loki is a different minifigure and i love how they gave him the little like guard over his mouth that's absolutely amazing and then you get Thor, which so far I cannot tell if anything is new on him. I think everything has been used before. But then they get, you get a nice big stand for the Quinjet. Like, and it looks like you can change the sticker or change a piece for it to either have the Avengers logo or the Shield logo, which is also pretty cool. And judging by how wide this is, this might be able to hold all those minifigures. But this is definitely one that I'm going to want to buy. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get it day one, but I definitely want this set. Up next is probably the most... This is going to be the most memeable LEGO set for years to come. 76244 Miles Morales versus Morbius. Now, oh, and it retails for $24.99, by the way. But So this one's different. This is under the Spider-Man line. I am... I was, I'm a fan of the Infinity Saga one because of the Iron Man with the gauntlet, but this is this is something else. I'm not a fan of the Spider-Man on the side there. However, <laughs> the car is actually a pretty sick build for Miles. I like the look of it being a spider on the front. However, he's not going to have a car. He's never had a car. Um, but the main reason people are going to buy this set is for the Morbius minifigure, and that's why I will be buying it, but... Let's, but before we get into that, like, look at the back of the car. Is that a new molded piece for the engine? Because if so, that's freaking sick. It looks like there's some stud shooters on the sides. Miles has the blue webs again. I cannot tell. Is that a new Miles figure? That is a new Miles figure. Yeah, the torso printing's new. I'm not sure if the face print is new, but then look at Morbius. <laughs> so it looks like Morbius has the worst haircut in history. Um, we get a new face print. For Morbius, which does have two sides. There's a more angry side and then a smirk. He's got his little goatee. And then you have the torso, which they did it comic book accurate. Let's go. 
Um, so that's just beautiful. Like literally all you gotta do is swap the hairpiece and he's pretty much good. And if you really want to make it accurate, you give him the bat wings. I was really hoping they were going to give Morbius the wings mold from the, uh, from man bat, but make like the wings like red. But Hey, I guess I couldn't get my hopes up too much. Then you get a couple of bats and then it looks like these are glasses with blood or their blood bags. I don't know what they're, he's holding them upside down. So... I'm starting to think they're actually like vials, you know, like lab vials, like one's full of blood and then the other, there's another one that's purple. So I don't know what that one is. I'm sure the Lego set descriptions will just like explain it, but this is definitely one I'm picking up day one. Okay, now this is the one I saved for last because I have been waiting for this to come out for so freaking long. 76245 Ghost Rider Mech and Bike, which will retail for $34.99 USD. I'm definitely getting this day one. So let's go ahead and start off with the minifigure. For starters, you get, you know, a new printed head, which we did get, um, but it's literally, like, if you look super close, it is pretty much identical to the original one. The only thing I can tell that's different are the angle of the eyebrows. The torso is different, but very slightly different. They could have done better with the minifigure, honestly. Seriously, they could have done so much better on the head printing and the torso. Like, it, over, I just think we should have gotten an entirely different outfit for him. His blue leather jacket. Give a, Like, they should have given us that. And then his mech could have been based off of that as well. I feel like the highlight of this set is the freaking bike build. Like, this is, this is insane. Um, judging by the color of some of these parts, it looks like most of them are silver. Which, if so, that's a fucking plus. I'm loving the spike pieces on the ends of the chains. I've actually never thought to do that before, but now I'm going to. It looks like there's a new finger mold for this mech, which is pretty cool. Uh, the front part with the skull eyes looks like it's printed, which makes me so happy. And then they actually have a really unique way of recreating the fire on the inside of the tires using those translucent disc pieces in translucent orange. It also looks like the part that actually holds the minifigure is a little bit different. It looks like they can sit down now, and if that's the case, I am so happy because when you try and stand these things up, they move so much, but if they're sitting down, that makes this so much more stable, you know? And now the front of the mech isn't the most appealing, but I think it's supposed to represent a leather jacket fold, and that's why that piece is there. This is definitely the set I am looking forward to getting the most, and who knows, my opinions on it might change I mean, like, come on, it is a mech on a fucking motorcycle. I never thought we'd see anything like this from Lego, especially with Ghost Rider. Now, again, right now, from what I can tell, the face print is not that much different from the original figure. But like I said, when I get it, I would do a comparison video of the figures. So we'll just have to wait and see. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Uh, leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts on these sets? Like, I, I, I'm kind of blown away actually. I mean, again, the Ghost Rider one is my most anticipated one. I'm very, I'm a little bit, not very, sorry. I'm a little bit disappointed with some of the small details, but again, it's not out yet, so I can't really judge it. The Morbius set is gonna sell so much, I'm telling you. And that Quinjet is absolutely beautiful. That is definitely the best to come out of this new wave. Anyways, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn notification if you have a video. Peace out guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.